Team 5's case study over home grocers. Homegrocer.com was an online supermarket and one of the first of its kind. Founded by Terry Drayton and McDonald in 1997, Homegrocer gave customers the ability to purchase various types of groceries online. Due to online grocery services being such a small market, competition was very low. With internet-based ventures popularity on the rise, Homegrocer raised $172 million before going live in May of 1998. At the time of the website's launch, Homegrocer had a staff of 60 and attracted 300 customers. Beginning in Seattle, they planned to establish the company in Seattle and expand with a new store every three months. Homegrocer wanted to learn as much as possible from the launch of the distribution center so they could perfect the model before replicating it. Towards the end of 1999, Homegrocer opened eight new stores going against the original business plan's expansion time frame. According to Professor Clayton Christensen of Harvard, managers must be patient for growth but impatient for profitability. This is not how home grocers viewed their, their expansion. Before going public in 2000, Home Grocer only had one main competitor titled Webvan. They also had raised an impressive amount of capital and had systems and transportation to support their service. Next, I'm going to discuss the problems that they faced as a company. The biggest problem was that while Home Grocers was in the embryonic stage of new growth and generating demand, they spent too much money trying to obtain customers with free products and coupons directed towards customers who weren't right for their business and didn't sign up for the program. The second problem is the distance between new management and the original company goal. Home Grocers' original company strategies and major goals did not align with Webvans, nor did they take them into consideration after the buyout. When Webvan took over home grocers, they wanted to market as a whole new entity rather than keep the home grocers logo and operating system that current customers were familiar with. With the brand loyalty home grocers had already established with their customers, this caused a disconnect between new and current home grocers and Webvan customers who were familiar with how each of the companies was previously operated. The third problem home grocers experienced is the fact that they expanded too quickly without doing enough market research to understand the market and perfect their service for intended customers. Escalating commitment on behalf of the home grocers' original management team played a large role. By doing this, home grocers put their risk capital in jeopardy of being non-recoverable in the event that they failed. This meant that the company spent too much money expanding their facilities too quickly for what they were readily available to operate in. Next, I'm going to discuss alternative solutions. Problem one was free products and coupons directed towards ineffective customers. Our solution for this is to do more market research to understand whether the customers you plan to target will actually continue to use home grocers after the promotion. Scenario playing could have helped home grocers understand the repercussions of certain promotions. Customers should have to place an initial order of over $50 to receive their next order free or receive a discount off of orders. This way, home grocers is only giving away product and discount to those most likely to continue purchasing. Spend money on not only obtaining customers, but also on retaining their customer base. They could have done this by offering a rewards program, giving large discounts, and free products for customers who stay within the company for three months, six months, nine months, etc. Problem two is that home grocers and web van couldn't connect as one entity within their customers' minds. Our solution to this, when home grocers was obtained by Webvan, they should have kept it as a subsidiary of Webvan so their current customers were still able to connect with the brand and recognize the company they had learned to trust, rather than start over with an unrecognizable logo and business model. To continue the home grocer subsidiary successfully, Webvan should have kept Home Grocer's staff on the project rather than try to implement the Webvan staff and operations into an already successful business model. This would have kept the brand recognizable with customers and allowed them to order the same way they always had. Webvan was used to operate used to operating delivery of all goods rather than specializing in grocery delivery. To continue to operate successfully with current Home Grocer's customers, Webvan should have kept the existing website that was able to effectively work with average customers' wireless connection or do substantial testing of a new website before launching the site. This way, customers would have been able to continue to order groceries without experiencing difficulties, causing them to turn away orders. 
Customers switching costs ended up being too high for their consumers to continue to use. Problem three was that they expanded too quickly for resources available without doing their market research. Rather than merge with Webvan, home grocers should have sold off their facilities until they only had the remaining original Seattle facility. This way they would have been able to recoup some capital and learn how to operate more efficiently. By doing this, they should have done more market research to learn about the customers they could be targeting and what they were expecting out of a company like home grocers. They could learn how to operate more efficiently and successfully while bringing in income and eventually, if they were more successful, try to expand to other locations again. Focus groups should have been initiated to determine how a small business like home grocers could obtain new customers sincerely interested in the service as well as retain the customers they already had. Questions should have been asked to determine what customers would change about traditional grocery shopping trips, what interests them about grocery delivery services, products they would still buy from a traditional store no matter what, and etc. This way, home grocers could tailor themselves uniquely to meet customer needs whom would actually demand a service like theirs. Now I am going to talk about our recommendations for home grocers. It is recommended that Webvan and Home Grocers merge while still keeping the focus of Home Grocers in mind. It is the best financial decision and it allows for a much larger customer base as both companies can contribute. The best solution is Webvans and Home Grocers work together to keep both companies' goals apparent, combining but still making the brands recognizable to customers. It would work to have two sections both specializing in their own area. This way they benefit from Webvan's financial success but customers do not feel as if they are working with a completely new company. Management needs to get together and commit to focus on one goal and mission. They need employees from both companies to work below them while implementing a training program that will help define the new processes. While the gnome, name home grocers may not be kept, it is important to make the company recognizable in some aspects. Next, I'm going to discuss possible results and implementation. The likely results and obstacles that may happen after the suggested solution. With the company developing market research to help promote their business, they could face challenges with data becoming clunky and messy. With new information the company could receive, they will face a standstill with data that may not help the company develop and could waste a lot of money. If they were to do the minimum amount of $50 in order to receive discounts, they could face customers buying expensive products to get the discount and returning them the next day. This could result in a negative impact on the business. Home grocers cannot make the economy grow, but they can encourage spending. Home grocers' internal factors can impact the business tremendously. A great internal trend that home grocers can put into their company is the value of employees. The strength of an employee is an essential factor to have a successful business, and it's important to have employees who are motivated, hardworking, and like to work as a team. With the right relationship and values among employees, Home grocers can improve effectiveness and efficiency. Other factors that take place in having strength in a company are the physical resources the company has, like where the company is located, the right facilities, and adequate equipment. These are the references we use for the case.